Good morning, all you beautiful people. It's so good to see you all again. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day today. Well, guess what? Today I got some problems and I'm going to be looking forward to your help on maybe possibly solving. And I'm also going to be talking about some of the downsides to van life and some of the good sides. In the meantime, I'm going to make some coffee and then we'll talk. So while we're sitting here just talking, I'm waiting for my coffee to get done. I think I'm going to switch out of this shirt. I'm going to put this shirt on because it is really super hot in the van right now. So, just like that. It doesn't take very long to switch clothes on camera at all. All right, well, my coffee is in my French press, and it's got a couple more minutes to go. I usually let it steep somewhere around seven minutes or so. I get the full flavor of the beans. So, yeah, you know, like I said, I've had a lot of people ask me why van life. You know, and I'll be honest with you. I love this lifestyle. I really do. Uh, it gives me the opportunity to live a more authentic life. Um, not only that, but I have met so many wonderful people out here living this lifestyle. I mean, versus being in town, I mean, most of the people in town are just, I don't know, <laughs> they seem grumpy. And it's not that I don't get grumpy sometimes, but I'm a whole lot less grumpier than I used to be. This lifestyle just gives you an authentic feeling of life. You, you, you can actually put your hands on it. You can feel the texture of your life and it just brings something that was missing into my life that I did not have just rinsing and repeating day in and day out, day in and day out. It brought change into my life. To be honest with you, I really think it is good for our own personal mental health. I mean, no different than little Jaxie back there. I mean, he has to have different things to stimulate his mind. And I believe that we as human beings, we also need to have different things to stimulate our mind. Seeing the same thing every day, day in and day out doing the same thing day in and day out I don't think that that's very stimulating maybe it is for you but for me it just uh, obviously wasn't you know I kind of come with the history van life was kind of like the next gen to what I would naturally do uh, I lived off-grid for over 10 years up in the mountains and I gotta tell you what I loved that immensely unfortunately even those places that are isolated up in the mountains are becoming heavily populated and what happened is that the area itself became well, very populated and a lot of people began to move out there and what happened is that you had people from the city that were true city people coming from the city out to the mountains and they expected to make it the same way which really took away the best part about being up in the mountains. Uh, it just became suburbia. And I think we're finding that more and more happening all over the place. Places that we can go to refresh ourselves are getting smaller and smaller and smaller all the time because all these people are encroaching upon those areas, not respecting the area for what it is, and bringing their same lifestyle out there. And quite frankly, just making a mess out of it. Uh, I mean, that's the way I feel. If you feel different about that, that's okay. Tell me about it, leave it down in the comment section. But I gotta tell you what, civilization moving out into the areas that normally we could go commune with nature is getting almost impossible. I mean, granted, maybe down south, there's probably a little bit more probability, but up here in South Dakota, forget it, it ain't happening. All right, so since we're gonna go back outside, I am gonna put my other shirt back on because it is still just a little bit chilly out there, but not too bad. Ah, there. All right, let's get out of here. All right, you gotta check this place out. Look at how much of a mess this place is. Look at that. It's all muddy. That's what everything looks like out here. It's just all wet and muddy. I don't know. I guess what should I expect, right? I don't think I really like this too much. problem with being over here on the east side of South Dakota is there is absolutely no place for you to go boondocking. Uh, the Game Fish and Parks Department have proclaimed that every public access area in South Dakota, at least the eastern half of South Dakota, is designated as a game preserve or fish and wildlife preservation area. 
and between the hours of 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. you are not allowed to be there unless you're carrying a gun, hunting, fishing, but uh, you can't do any boondocking. So on the eastern part of South Dakota, if you ever come out this way, uh, just keep that in mind that you'll have to stay at a state park because you will not be able to stay anywhere else. Oh, look at this mess I'm in. Oh my gosh, I gotta forage my way through here. This is crazy. It's like I'm going through a forest. Can't even see my van from where I'm at. I'm trying to make it down over here. I'll show you the river real quick. Boy, what a mucky mess this is gonna be. This place is gonna be just all flooded out come spring. You know, the river's not looking too bad. Normally this time of the year, this whole river is completely froze over, but she's open and flowing. I guess that's a good thing. At least we won't have any ice dams built up this year. Well, uh, look at that water just moving down there. All right, let's go check out the van. I'll show you what I'm talking about that I would kind of like to be able to get your opinion on. Because like I said, there's just so many different things that you could do. But boy, I'll tell you what, trying to figure out what the right thing is anymore is getting even tougher and tougher and tougher as far as... I had to duck down here. As far as products are concerned. Because there's so many different products out on the market. And there are a lot of them that are just plain outright junk. And quite frankly, for what I want to do to the van, I don't want it to be a piece of junk. I want it to actually be a quality product, but I don't want to have to spend a fortune for it. There's my little home right there. Look at that. Don't tell me that ain't stealth. I blend in quite well with that white van. And my wheels look like they're all mud. <laughs> oh, it's a gorgeous day out here today. I had the sun shining. Got beautiful blue skies for the most part. It's absolutely beautiful. Got some Canadian geese going up above. Here comes some more. Well, I guess that's your sign. It is springtime. All right, so here we're back at the van, and I'm gonna show you just exactly what I'm looking at. So, you got my little cool pad. That's my Wi Fi deal. I got a little battery pack right here. If I just set it right out there, I get Wi Fi, which is really cool. There's my South Dakota State Park sticker. 100 years last year. So what I want to do on the top of my van, I want to put a roof rack up here. And I've looked at quite a few of them online, but it is really tough to tell what a good quality product would be. And the main reason why I want to get a roof rack is because I want to put an awning on the top of my van so that way I can put it out during the summertime to kind of, you know, cut down on the heat and all that. So if you have any ideas of a good roof rack, I mean, a good quality roof rack, leave that comment down below in the comment section and let me know what your thoughts are. I'll tell you what, let's climb up here. Whoa, my solar panels need some cleaning. Look at inside of there. Boy, my vent fan is definitely a mess. And another project we're gonna be working on is over the course of the winter, it has all the appearances that I'm getting a little bit of rust. I'd say a little bit, but I think it's a little bit more than a little bit. So we're gonna be working on that project. We're gonna be getting rid of that here real quick. We don't wanna let that get too bad. It might already be too late, but we're gonna start working on that. We're gonna get rid of that rust. And the unfortunate part about it is, is that last summer, I didn't have any rust on here whatsoever. And now this year, eh, it's not so good. The driver's side of the van isn't quite as bad. It's got a little bit down there around the door frame and then a little bit in the back. I think for the most part, I could probably just sand that off and then probably, you know, prime that and uh, prep that and get rid of that problem. But boy, I'll tell you what, she sure took a hold this winter, which is really, truly unfortunate. But I guess that's just one of those deals where you kind of got to like keep up with your van maintenance. You got to keep your home looking good and you got to keep it in good repair. So we're going to be doing a project on that. And I'll make sure that uh, I bring you along with me as I do it. And we'll see how it turns out. Who knows? It might actually turn out pretty good. We'll have to wait and see. This little guy right here, he loves the snow. He just enjoys the heck out of it. And boy, I'll tell you what, he sure loves this lifestyle also. He loves being able to get out and all this stuff and play. He has a great time. What are you doing? Yeah. He has, a, he has an awesome time out here. Ugh. Me, not so much. Him, on the other hand, no. He just loves his stuff. All right, well, I guess that's pretty much going to do it for today. We went down, we seen the river, showed you some of the upcoming projects that we're going to be doing with the van. Got to see the little jacks playing outside. 
Oh yeah, and you got to see me make coffee. Wait till I cook in there. That's going to be a lot of fun. And so we're just going to go ahead, we're going to end this little video right here. I want to tell you all, thank you so much for taking your time to stop by my channel today. I greatly appreciate your support. I love hearing from all of you out there. It truly makes this all very much so worthwhile. In the meantime, I hope that you all have an amazing day. And until I see you all again, later.